Today I want to talk about converting fractions into decimals without the aid of a calculator. In our example here, 3 eighths, we have a proper fraction. Our numerator 3 is less than our denominator 8. So we're going to take our denominator, in this case, which is 8, and divide that 8 into our numerator 3. I like to say bottom into top. Now, because 8 is larger than 3, I have to add a decimal point after my 3 and a few zeros. Let's start off with 2. I'm going to immediately bring that decimal point up into my quotient and start my long division. Because I have to start after the decimal point, because 8 is larger than 3, I'm going to ask myself how many times does 8 go into 30? And 8 goes into 30 three times. 3 times 8 is 24. And I'm going to just continue with my long division. 30 minus 24 is 6. I don't have a remainder of 0, so I have to bring down the next digit in my dividend. Repeat the process. 8 goes into 60 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. 60 minus 56 is 4. Again, I don't have a remainder of 0. I don't have a repeating pattern in my quotient, so I'm going to add another zero. Bring that down. I like to use arrows. It'll be nice and neat when you're doing long division. And 8 goes into 40 five times. And what's good here is 5 times 8 is 40, and 40 minus 40 is 0. So since I have a remainder of 0, we say our decimal terminates. So 3 eighths is equivalent to point three. Seven, five. That would be our final answer. Now, I want to show you side by side another example. Suppose if I had 19 25ths. Now, I could repeat the same procedure, take bottom into top, 25 into 19.00, but a couple things. Those are really large numbers. And this is busy work, essentially. So, an alternate technique to use if we notice our denominator is a factor of 100 is to create an equivalent fraction. Now, what is a factor of 100? A factor of 100 is a number that goes into 100 evenly. So, those numbers that go into 100 evenly, besides 1 and 100, include 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, which we have here, and 50. So if you have a fraction with any of those numbers I've just given you as the denominator, a better procedure to use than this here is to create an equivalent fraction with 100 as your denominator. To create an equivalent fraction, we find out what we multiply our old denominator, in this case 25, by to get our new denominator, 100. And we multiply 25 times 4. I'll put the little dot to simplify multiplication. We repeat that procedure with our numerator, because to write an equivalent fraction, we have to multiply our numerator and denominator by the same number. 19 times 4 is 76. So 19 25ths is equivalent to 76 hundredths. When our denominator is 100, we just simply use place value to write our decimal. 76 hundredths indicates two place value positions after the decimal point. So that's simply point 76. Let me do one more example for you. Suppose I had, oh, I don't know, 31 over 50. Again. I don't want to have to say bottom into top, 50 into 31.00, and go through all this work. I recognize 50 is a factor of 100. I create my equivalent fraction. 50 times 2 is 100. 31 times 2 is 62. And 62 hundredths is equivalent to 0.62.